Welcome to Stanley Park, one of the most iconic urban parks in the world. In this video, we're taking a trip back in time to explore the park's fascinating history through vintage photos. Stanley Park has a rich and diverse past, dating back to the time when indigenous peoples first inhabited the land. But it wasn't until the 1900s to 1930s that the park truly began to take shape as we know it today. Let's dive into the past and discover the hidden stories behind these captivating images. Back in the early 1900s, Stanley Park was a bustling hub of activity. The park was home to non-indigenous settlers who took advantage of its abundant resources. It wasn't until 1886 that the land was officially designated as Vancouver's first park. And guess what? It was named after Lord Stanley, the 16th Earl of Derby, who had recently been appointed Governor General. Originally known as Cole Peninsula, the park was initially set aside for military fortifications. But thanks to the vision of Vancouver's City Council, it was transformed into a beautiful green space for everyone to enjoy. Unlike other urban parks, Stanley Park wasn't meticulously designed by a landscape architect. Instead, it evolved naturally over the years, with most of the man-made structures being built between 1911 and 1937. Under the guidance of Superintendent W.S. Rawlings, the park saw the addition of attractions like a polar bear exhibit, an aquarium, and even a miniature train. But don't worry, the park's natural beauty hasn't been overshadowed by these man-made wonders. With over half a million trees, some of which are hundreds of years old, Stanley Park remains a lush and densely forested oasis. Of course, the park hasn't been without its challenges. Over the past century, it has weathered numerous windstorms that have caused significant damage to its trees. In fact, between 1900 and 1960, 19 separate windstorms swept through the park, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. But the park has always bounced back, with many trees being replanted to restore its natural beauty. One of the most iconic features of Stanley Park is its seawall and walkway. Construction of the seawall began in 1917 and took several decades to complete. The original idea for the seawall came from Superintendent W.S. Rawlings, who saw the potential for a combined park and marine walk. And thanks to the dedication of Master Mason James, Jimmy, Cunningham, the seawall became a reality. Cunningham spent 32 years of his life working on the seawall, ensuring its completion in 1963. Today, the seawall stretches for 22 kilometers, making it the world's longest uninterrupted waterfront walkway. And the Stanley Park portion is just a fraction of this incredible feat of engineering. From Canada Place to Kitsilano Beach, the seawall offers breathtaking views of the city and the surrounding natural beauty. But let's not forget about the park's incredible wildlife. Stanley Park is home to a diverse range of animals, from majestic eagles soaring through the sky to playful otters splashing in the water. So, whether you're a history buff, a nature lover, or simply looking for a peaceful escape, Stanley Park has something for everyone. 